Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to talk about using PowerShell and a VHD file to back up a user's documents. You may want to do this as a normal course of events to periodically back up a user's files, or you may want to do a quick backup before you're fixing a problem on their computer. So I have built a script which you can download from the accompanying blog article to this video which will use PowerShell and disk part and dynamically create a VHD. Once we have that VHD we can then copy files to it such as the users documents folder. So I'm going to start a PowerShell session here as an administrator. I'm logged on normally as a regular user Let me log on and start this PowerShell session though with the administrator account. Now I have on the file server in this office a PowerShell script that will create the VHD based on the total size of the files in the user's home folder, in their documents folder. So let's go ahead and run this script here. So if this is on chifp0 so the script is called doc backup to vhd.ps1 and I need to specify a few parameters so let's back up C users I'm logged on this is Alfredo's machine so a Fredo documents and we're going to put this vhd on ch I dash FP zero one slash backup and we'll call it a Fredo dot VHD. We also need to specify a drive letter that we're going to map this to, so we're going to map this to drive Z and we'll hit enter. So it looks like Al has about 40 megabytes of files in his documents folder. I just created the VHD, or the PowerShell did, and now it is copying the files, and it is finished. Down here, I have a display, open the folder to view the files, and there they are. I've actually also configured this VHD to be compressed, so I've saved some extra space here. So here all of his files. I can copy other things in or delete them off. I can now work without worrying about losing any files. When I'm finished, if I want to detach this, the easy way to do this, and this does require admin privileges, since I'm already logged on in PowerShell here as an admin, I'm going to run disk management.msc, or you can also get to this in the computer management console. Right click and then detach VHD and I will detach it. So now it's disconnected. But that VHD file now is still on that network share. So if I need to reattach it to copy files back, um, I have it available to me. So there is a kind of a handy technique. Again, grab the PowerShell scripts from the blog article and see how you can work with VHDs to do some quick and dirty backups. Thank you very much for your time.